What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. Welcome back to Let's Play. Jeez, I almost said 999. <laughs> um, Delta Rune Blind. In the last episode, we reunited with Susie. We learned plenty about battling with our three members, and we saw plenty of tutorials. We had a showdown with uh, Lancer, and we had this interesting door frame just posted the wall there. I bet it's too funny. And now we're gonna head on over this way, and what do we find? Oh, look, Chris, another puzzle. Oh no. Let's read the instructions. Their instructions? Uh huh, the instructions are vandalized. It says, Doused fools, that will never figure it out now. <clears throat> Ruining instructions. That's definitely against the rules. Well, it's alright, I'll say. The villains don't always play by the rules. Then it um, says, P.S. I make my own rules. RK. Well, that explains that. RK. I don't remember those initials showing up anywhere, but. Why don't we just climb over this spiked fence? Um, because then we'd get impaled and die? Cool, I'll work on that and you do the puzzle. Um, try your best, Chris. Okay. Let's see, so we probably have to push these? Yeah. It's just like, uh, one of those Pokemon strength puzzles. I mean, obviously this one is not going to be the most complex, right? Great job, Chris. I think you're onto something. Hey, Chris, give up whatever you feel like it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> don't be more, don't be too motivational, I might get ahead of myself, uh, Susie. But yeah, obviously this is just introducing the mechanic. Whoa! <laughs> wow, <laughs> that reminds me of the, uh, the seal from Banjo. Whoa! <laughs> you did it, Chris! Good job, or great job. Darn, didn't get to impale myself. Oh well, come on, chumps. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Good job, Chris. So, keep on going can battle over there, or do I... well, mm, which way do I go? Okay, so we'll act with Chris. I remember lecturing... or no, we have to warn them. That's right. You and I'll say warn the enemies about Susie. Everyone went on guard. And of course, Susie's gonna try and attack. Shine, shine. Blip, blip. <laughs> I'm just a normal person. So, now we're, uh, just doing our avoiding dealio. Kathy has a little secret. Oh, oh, really now? We will... Honestly, the Rudins are probably the harder part at the moment, so we'll convince. Then we'll have Ralse spare Rudin. And that should work. It was utterly swayed. Ralse spare Rudin. Cool! That gets rid of one. And again, Susie misses. Just a normal person. I'm sorry. Kathy has a little secret. We're gonna have to hear about it soon enough. Um, Alright, but I don't wanna fight, I wanna act. So we'll lecture this route in, and we'll have say spare them. And we should be good. You lectured the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemies became tired. say spared route in. But its name wasn't yellow. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I should have convinced. Tracing say pacify. Yeah, that's my bad. My bad, Johan. What? Okay. So we're gonna have to deal with more of this. My bad. Was that Susie that took damage? I wonder why. Okay, well... We have TP. I guess it's not the end of the world. They're both tired. Oh, I wonder if, um... Hmm. I guess we can have Chris flatter? But as far as... Does Pacify work on more than one foe? No, it doesn't. Okay, you told Daddy it has cool tentacles. And begin to think about this. Or I'll say cast Pacify. And what? It just, like, disappeared. Cool. Hathi's beat slows. Okay, so we can spare you. And it should be all good. Yeah, what I'm curious about is that, uh, the Pacify spell just completely, I don't know, like, made them go away. I hope that wasn't the wrong thing. Alright, regardless... It looks like that's the way we're supposed to go, so naturally we're going to explore up here first. Anything of interest over here? Oh, maybe there are a couple different ways to go. From the bottom, the order of our rooms is card ca in Card Castle. Of course, if you haven't been there, you don't know it. From bottom, so there's the spade, and then the red diamond, and then... Oh, interesting, so you can switch back and forth. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we've got to go explore down below first. And I don't think there's any real benefit to doing this, but that's okay. Oh wait, no! 
I almost forgot to uh, warn them. So we'll give a warning, and then, of course, continue with the rest of the battle. Everyone went on guard! Also, these battles take a little bit longer than I remember, you know, the old Undertale uh, battles happening. So hopefully they're not too bothersome for you guys. Regardless, uh, I mean, I'll try and move through them pretty quickly. Uh, so we got rid of this Rudin, and that should be, you know, progress. Oh man, I ran into that one. I got indecisive. Smells like a soft kiss. What does that mean? <laughs> so with this, we should be able to get rid of this Rudin, and it'll be a lot easier from there on out. Because again, it should just be the uh, the circle. Oh no. I thought it would be like the circle of stuff going around. So we can flatter and then spare, and we should be good. Yeah, I thought it would just be like the small circles circling around us. Cool, so we got 94 dark money. What do we have going on over here? When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. Interesting, and I doubt it's, is it random? Or, oh, it just goes top and then middle and then bottom. It'd be top and then middle and then bottom. And then top, and then middle, and then bottom. But we're good. Any I can interact with in the back? It looks like uh, pawn pieces. <clears throat> oh, hello there. I want to battle you. Pawn man. <laughs> okay. So, of course, as usual, we're going to give a warning. You and Ralph say warn the enemies about Susie. And, of course, our pawns are going on guard. What are they going to do? Oh, interesting type of attack. Oh, I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> I really wish I had my D-pad, but that's alright. Pawn Man seems hypnotized by your idle animation. I mean, they, they look pretty clean, if you ask me. So we'll um, we'll say goodnight, and then let's see if we can spare. You whisper goodnight to Pawn Man. It fell asleep. Or I'll say spared Pawn Man. Okay, so that'll work. That's a good combo. It's good to know. Oh, so this is how we know who's taking damage when damage is taken on these types of attacks. It says target on the left. Perfect, so what we can do is, I'm actually going to say goodnight to this one, and use Ralsei's magic. Oh, I don't have enough TP. Alright, maybe in a different battle then. And we can spare Pawn Man. If I have 32 TP, what I can do is actually heal Susie, so... The other thing is I could potentially draw out a battle and try to build up TP. Which is fine. No more light panels? Just top, and then bottom. Cool. Made it through that. Fair enough. And we have Lancer. Ha ha ha! So you've begun to cross the Great Board. The halfway point to our castle. Hm. Impressive. So, it's a shame. You won't make it a step further. Cause my guys are about to smash you into blood. Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Huh? Hey, purple girl, was that scarier? Why are you asking me? <laughs> this music. Because you're really cool at being terrifying. I want to be as scary as you. You want to be like me? Yeah. Well, that's stupid. <laughs> but um, the new laugh isn't as awful. And seeing you turn us into blood is uh cool. What the heck is up with the bucket, though? It's to put the blood in. Because <laughs> he's got to clean up his mess, you know. Oh. Yeah, I'm not uh, supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scary. Um, no problem, I guess. Susie so coming around, becoming a little bit more of a person? So are you guys going to attack us, or...? Oh, uh, yeah. I was so excited I forgot to bring any guys. But next time, it'll be the end for... <laughs> hey, I've just been calling you guys clowns. Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris, uh, we should come up with a name. No, we shouldn't. Then it's decided. Everyone puts a name in the bucket. <laughs> Finally making use of this bucket. Alright, everyone's put in their entries. Wait, I didn't get an entry. Blue person, you can choose. Since you look like you don't care. Neat paper, Lancer labeled paper, or the crumpled paper. We're gonna go with the neat paper because... Ralsei. You take the neatly folded piece of paper. You open it up. 
the legendary heroes, the herald of fun and friendship. <laughs> so, so innocent, you know, so just pure. Oh, oh, that's mine. See, I think it's the perfect name because we're all friends and I like to have a lot of fun. Okay, first, jeez, that's a mouthful, dude. Second, what are our enemies gonna think? That we're gonna be buddies with them? Well, well, yeah, because that's kind of what we're actually going to do, right? Let's change it to something short, intimidating. Something punchy, something intimidating. <laughs> like what? Well, uh, you know, for starters, how about just, uh, the fun gang? You know, just, uh, concentrating on the fun part. I'm shocked that Susie's, you know, keeping the fun part of it all. It's perfect! Well, see ya, fun gang! I've gotta osmose my afternoon milk. <laughs> okay, here I was thinking we are actually gonna get into a big battle or something. The power of the fun gang shines within you. Love it. Cool, so we're still on the great board. We're gonna get more light stuff. Oh, no! Alright, so it's not quite as um, straightforward as it was before. It's like it's moving in a um, diagonal fashion. So it'll be here, and then there. Okay. So basically what I can afford to do is advance two spaces each time. And then we're good. Cool. Battle me, brother. I wonder, do I, should I be seeking out these battles or, or not, right? You know, say warn the enemies about Susie, everyone went on guard. I'm wondering if I should really be seeking out, you know, all the different um, enemies for the sake of experience or money or whatever it may be. Sorry, Susie. Okay, so we will say goodnight and then we can spare as well and it should work. For what it's worth, the game doesn't seem as intense or difficult as Undertale was. So, like I said before, I'm, I'm sticking with the keyboard and I don't think it'll be too problematic in the long run. But, eventually we may switch to the D-pad just for the sake of it. Cool. You whisper goodnight to Pun Man, it fell asleep. Or I'll say spared Pun Man. Cool, so just one left. Um, it's probably gonna do the three diagonal blades at a time or whatever. Yeah. Aw oh, man, why'd I go down for that? Fun Man listens to politely despite having no ears. I love the little commentary they give with that. I should do a lullaby at some point just for the sake of seeing what it's like. Regardless, um, we're able to spare them. You won and we got 74 D money. Dark money. It took quite a bit of damage though, which is obviously not ideal. Whoa there, horsey! Pawn men are scary, but all they're doing is following the king. Us on the board, we on the board, used to have our own boss. Those were peaceful times. But now, even the boss has been reduced to the king's pe peon. Fear not, we, unlike the simple pawn men, possess full faculty over our actions. Are you supposed to be a queen or a bishop? I, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me. He's very scary, you <laughs> see. I guess I can understand that. Okay, so here we are with Lancer yet again. Ho ho ho, well step on my boots. If it isn't the friendly fun gang, you boys or girls had better turn back while you can. Lancer, what is it this time? Ho ho ho, I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. Ho ho ho, it's actually really inconvenient. <laughs> I can't go home at all because I'm so scared. What is it? It's gonna make us go find out now, apparently. <laughs> oh, hey, little guy. That? That's what you're afraid of? W wow, purple girl, you aren't scared? <laughs> Why would I be? What's it gonna do? Hmm, are we gonna get some, like, interesting transformation or something like that? Hmm, well, normally... Ah, it's... Oh, it's a it's a checker piece, and it just got kinged. That's really funny. <laughs> it crushes people to death, I think. Interesting. Here it comes. That reminds me of uh, well, never mind. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do, of course, K round, rather than C round. 
is, of course, give the warning. You explain to K-Round about the importance of dodging Susie's attacks, but it didn't seem to understand. No! Oh my! So that's how it's gonna work. K-Round shuffles furiously, so let's see what we can do. We can bow or deep bow. Let's go with a bow first. K-Round shuffles furiously. Is there anything we can do? Well, however, I'll say defend, but you bowed to K-Round. It bowed back. Its crown loosened a little. Ah, I see. That's it, Chris. If we can get its crown off, it should turn back into a little guy. Susie, help us bow at it. Nah, it, its crown will come off. If I smack it in the face with an axe. When I smash this guy into the ground. Darn, come on, we got so we gotta save him. Or we have to, you know, spare him before Susie ends up killing him. So let's see here. The crown is 15% loose. Dang. Um, so we'll deep bow. Hopefully, you and Ralsei bowed. Get around, bowed back. It's crown loosened. By how much, though, is the question. K round felt stressed out and attacked. K round practiced self care. <laughs> I love it. What milk was that? K Rod's HP and attack went up. Susie, stop attacking it! You're making it stronger! So it sounds. And let it think I'm afraid? No way! Um. One second, guys. Gotta tend to something. Alright. <laughs> and fix my, my timer. And let it think I'm afraid? No way! Alright, the crown is 35% loose. So, at least if we do that, we, we'll make. 20% progress instead of uh, just 15% per turn. So I think we'll do that for now. And it's not like we really need Ralse to do anything in the meantime, anyways. So cool, let's give it a go. K round bowed back, it's crown loosened. And still taking damage. I mean, it's it recovered the first few hits though. Ah, I see. Let's get that TP. Almost at 100%. Crown is 55% loose. I guess that makes sense, right? Um, so what we'll do is, I mean, we have three turns left no matter what, so we'll just do another deep bow. You and Ralsei bowed. K-Round bowed back, it's crown loosened. Susie's still putting in, putting in all that work. What is going on with this? Okay, the crown is 75% loose. We can give another deep bow. K-Round bowed back, it's crown loosened. Now it's at 95% loose, so the next time is when it should... Oh, we got hit. Next time is when it should to finally free up. And we are at TP max. The crown is 95% loose. So, Ralse is at 39%. I think what I can do now is just bow. That'll definitely do the trick. And then we can use heal prayer on Ralse. You bowed to K-Round. It bowed back. It's crown loosened a little. Not just a little, just enough. Ooh, and look at Ralsei's sprite. That was really cool. You won. You got zero EXP and 17 dark money. We we did it. Wow, you, you clowns really are heroes. You saved the next 20 minutes of my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am pretty great. Huh? He's only got 20 minutes of life left. Um, Susie? Not to downplay your contributions, but... You didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking it. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? <laughs> Shout out to Yuji. That thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier you terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies. They're for terrorizing. Yeah, sh she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. <laughs> Susie, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future. Could you please start acting like one? Ooh, I'll say call it her out. But really, in a, in a very formal and a very reasonable manner. Yeah. When you lay it out like that, I'll eat your face off! <laughs> I've been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? Alright, Relse, you got it. I'll change my ways. From now on, I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. I'll just be a villain. I'll just be one of the bad guys instead. Knew it. I knew it. R really? You're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. Susie, you can't just... 
Quiet, Toothpaste Boy. Susie is my cum right now. Toothpaste Boy? Huh? I don't see that, but yeah, Toothpaste Boy. We're going to have monogram track jackets. Yeah. And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah? Anyway, uh, see you guys never. <laughs> if you can even last that long. Yikes. Chris. Perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. You really weren't that hard on her. You just called her out. And you need to be able to do that in a healthy relationship. But I just worry that if Susie is too eager to fight, then, well, let's just be kind to her, okay, Chris? At the very least, if she's on that side, she won't be attacking perceived what was, what was previously perceived as an enemy, and thus, you know, like, kill everything she runs into. I'm sure Susie will come around soon. Okay. I'm still curious about that one room with the different doors. I didn't see, you know, the the rooms or whatever to know what the order was. I guess theoretically I could have tried all the different combinations. There are only, what, like 24 of them? But I'm not going to want to do that. The blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within you. Okay. We got our puzzle friend here. Hey kid, we managed to fix up this old thingamajig for you. It's some kind of door. It can take you anywhere you want in the world. As long as that's one of two locations. Anywho, we'll keep working on it. Anything to help you out, kid. That's probably where that one door frame was, if I imagine. Whoa there, horsey! Mr. Society and the puzzle guy fixed that door. Since it was just the three of us, it should work without any issues. Anyhow, <laughs> hoping it helps you deal with the king. Let's see what it is. Uh, it's a door. Where will you go? The field or the forest? The door opened! Ah, uh, yes, I figured. Okay, so we can head back after enjoying the music for a second. Oh man, so good. <laughs> okay, let's head to the forest again. Not, not quite as uh, crazy solid music here. Still good. Just totally different vibe. Rabbik. Slithered in the way. Rabbik. Huh. So we'll, we'll blow on it, I guess? And see if that works? Press Z repeatedly to blow air. Oh, okay. Works for me. Or I'll say spared Rabbik. I guess that works. Fair enough. And you can see its little shape in the, in the bush. That's pretty funny. Now we've got Susie and new friend. Susie, Lancer! <laughs> well, if it isn't the so-called heroes. Are you finally ready to see what happens? When you try to act soft against a team that crushes anyone in their way? Dark Jack Lancer! Violent Act Susie! <laughs> Together we are, I guess they sound like Team Rocket. The Dark Fun Gang! That's really creative, guys. Um, so what's your um evil plan? Huh? Dude, we just formed our team. We haven't done anything past our intro yet. Have a little patience, please. Oh, um, sorry. We're, um, looking forward to the rest. <laughs> well, you won't have to look forward for long. Starting now, we're going to work ceaselessly, unstoppably, to make an evil plan to thrash you clowns. Watch your backs. And your fronts. <laughs> <laughs> Watch your backs and your fronts. That's so funny. Alright, so let's see what's going on in the forest. We got two rabbits here. And can spare, I guess, the top one as well. Let's see what the the rabbit does. Duru! Whoa! Rabbit emits a musty groan. Again, I feel like it's just not... I don't understand exactly what it is. I should probably check what the enemy is first. So I get a little bit of that dialogue. I remember that was something fun to do in uh, Undertale. So maybe we'll do that here as well. Oh, wait. No, I want to go the other way. It seems, because that's, you know, apparently where we're supposed to go. Because I imagine we'll have a cutscene or whatever with them. What's going on here? Don't mind me, I'm on break. 
Say, help me. I need to get something for my friend Clover's birthday. Hold up a minute. <laughs> I know a Clover, and if we don't get this item for uh, this Clover's birthday, she may not, uh, well, have the most friendly of futures in store for us. Her only interests are sports, cute boys, and trees. Maybe I'll just get her a card. Sports, cute boys, and trees. Sports, cute boys, and trees. And is that... Am I supposed to have an item for that? Glow shards. Anything with my equipment? I mean, I've got a wood blade and white ribbon, but... I guess I'll keep that in mind going forward. Sports, cute boys, and trees. Is, like, the three Susie, you know, Chris, and myself potentially reminiscent of that? It's a stuff with some kind of dinner hole in it. Dinner hole? What? How's the evil scheming going? Huh? Oh, that? We, uh, got bored. So we're having a snack. I see. Come on! All I ate for breakfast was chalk! And I didn't eat anything! Sorry, what are you two having exactly? Just the daily treasure I hid in this dump's orifice. And that is... Feast for yourself, my main man, my main man. <laughs> Chris, do you want to um, try it? Make Ralse try it, or we can try it ourselves. I I'll try it. There was a honey pot of salsa inside the stump. You ate some salsa. It recovered something. Not HP, just something. <laughs> the humor in this game is excellent. Mm. Hey, what's in this? I don't know. Oh boy. Well, has everybody had enough? Constantly. <laughs> Susie's just fed up with life. So we've obviously got to avoid this for the time being. I'm curious about what's in this upper left corner. I feel like this is where there'd be a secret of some sort. You open the treasure chest. Inside was Ragger. You put Ragger in your weapons. What's a Ragger? Ah, that scarf. I noticed that you simply took it without asking. That's fine. It's my gift to help you defeat the king. You folks are really energetic, <laughs> and potentially criminals. <laughs> true, true. I'm just a little ball. I don't want to discuss anything. Fair enough. Let's take a look at whatever this is. What was the ragger? A rugged scarf that cuts enemies like a dagger. Huh? It's not an armor, though. Oh, it's probably not for Chris. Yeah, that's the case. So it'll increase our attack. It'll give us an ability, question mark? Feels prickly, nice. <laughs> That's what Ragger said. That's funny. So, we ideally don't even have to use it, but it's fine for the time being. It's pretty cool that it, like, goes into this, like, mode that tells you, yep, you're in, like, kind of a real-time segment where you've actually got to be paying attention to dodging things. Makes it very clear for the player. Okay, so what do we have going on here? What I can do is this, and then this, and then that, and we'll fix it. <laughs> Thanks for doing the puzzle for us, losers. <laughs> Thank you so much, losers. We were having trouble. We, uh, need this. <laughs> for all your evil scheming, I'm sure. And then similarly, I don't, I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Again, we could try a few different combinations. Yeah, because we can do that. Okay, cool. Well, we'll come back to it later once we have an idea of what we're aiming for. Was that a, a bag of some sort? So there's a diamond there. Oh, so there's a spade, diamond, and then something else. We'll, we'll battle you. Do we get like a first strike or something like that? Blocks are assembled. Ooh, that's really cool. I like it. Um, so the first thing we'll do is check it. Blocks are assembled, and then we'll have you defend. This is obviously not optimal for sparing enemies and getting through battles quickly, but I do want to experience all the game has to offer and check all the enemies. Loves training, hates body being the wrong shape. Oh, oh you interrupted my training. My bad, man. Oh, it's like those various blocks games. That's actually really funny. Blocks are thinking about trains. Trains? Okay, so we'll rearrange and see if that works for sparing. Proceed to choose head, body, and legs. Oh, I see. So we have to rearrange the Bloxer in some sort. Bloxer is still unhappy with itself. Oh, I have to rearrange it into a happy... That's actually really funny. Ralsei spared Bloxer, but its name wasn't yellow. Oh no, my face is... My face, wait. 
Huh? I feel like, you know, we're getting some clues about how to rearrange it, but I just don't know. So we'll try rearranging and again sparing, but we'll see how it goes. Press C to choose. One head, two body, three legs. Okay. I wasn't sure how it wanted me to uh, do everything. Bloxer is pleased with its new self. I'll say spared Bloxer. We won! Cool, and we got plenty of money. I think a lot of that has to do with how much TP we got, so it's pretty happy with that. Okay, so we've got Spade Diamond Club. What's over here? Oh, I don't know. Probably story progression or something like that. Maybe the secret's up there. So we've got Spade Diamond. Um, we can do that. And, uh, no, nah, we're, I mean, we're gonna have to reset it, right? Okay, yeah. So, Spade, Diamond, and Club, right? So if it's spade and then diamond, what I'm going to want to do is flip them and then add this and then flip them again. Cool. I guess we'll talk to the people before taking the treasure this time because we got called out on it last time. Bow bow, break the box for a bracelet. Bow bow, it will boost your defense. <laughs> the king wants to eliminate lightners, but we didn't oh, agree with that. We oh, escaped, but the others were arrested. You open the treasure chest. Inside was Dice Brace. You put Dice Brace in your armors. Ooh, let's see how good that is. Can we use it with Chris or Ralse? Let's see. Can we add a second one? We can. Interesting. Brace made out of various symbol inscribed cubes. Cool. I like that we can add, you know, two different armors. And now we'll head over to the right. Oh, we have to fight another Bloxer? That's fine enough. We know how to, you know, deal with it at this point. Proceed to choose. Okay, so first head, and then body, and then legs. Aw, he looks so happy. I love the blush and everything when his body is all in order. Cool. So we'll take that little bit of dark money and move on. Now, what do we have going on here? Ah, I see. It looks like it's supposed to be the solution to a puzzle but it's been vandalized with a calligraphy pen. Looks like the order of symbols was red, black, red. I was gonna say, that's probably all we have to work with. What are you? Can I battle you, or? RK came by, what a hunk. He vandalized the puzzle to stop the lightners, but we know the answers. Oh, you wanna get through? Of course we'll tell you. Um, the first symbol is a heart. <laughs> Just like love, does that help? Does it? Am I supposed to believe you? I don't know. Um, symbol puzzle? All the symbols were different, I think. You can um, still see the colors they were, too. Sorry, I can't be any more help. So if they're all different, and the first one is a heart, then the last one must be a diamond, which means what we're probably going to do is do something like this, and then we'll flip it, and then we'll try the diamond. That didn't work. Okay, so then it's gotta be a spade in the middle. So what we're gonna do is do this, and then flip it, and then that, and that. And we're good. Am I supposed to progress this way? Looks like it. Hey, it's my birthday today, and you didn't even say hello. That's fine, actually. Stop and say hi, folks. Shut up, they don't deserve us. Hey, calm down, you two. Let's celebrate my birthday. Yeah, get ready to hurt. Oh, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, I guess I guess we're getting caught up in this battle here. Clover, oh, this is Clover. Interesting, so Clover, birthday present, like sports and cute boys and trees, right? Check, talk boys, talk birthday, talk sports, talk animals, talk trees. That's actually really funny. We'll check it first just for the sake of getting that, you know, dialogue. Two heads are better than one. Three, maybe not. Nice weather today. What? It's just awful. Please stop, you two. They're all fighting and everything. That's pretty funny. Okay, well, for what it's worth, um, it smells like clover and dew. What was that beeping noise? I don't know. So we'll start by talking about boys. Or we'll start by talking, yeah, no, we'll talk boys. Um, what kind of boys do you like? Cute ones, nice ones, like I am. Um, none, um, I mean, all. Seems like Clover enjoys talking about that. Glasses are cute, I think. Fluffy glasses, that's it. Him, or, sure. They're funny. All right, a trio of terrible smiles. So next up, we'll talk about sports. Do you like, um, sports? 
I want to eat a football. Sports, my favorite food. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Seems like Clover enjoyed talking about that. Not how I anticipated that going. Spaghetti and tennis balls. That's genius. We really agree on it. That's actually really funny. All right. Clover is bickering with herself. It's funny. And lastly, we'll talk trees and have. We'll have Ralph say spare then. You brought up the topic of trees. Clover seemed happy. Oh, look at that rainbow. I'll say spare it, Clover. We won, and we got 91 dark money in the process. So, I feel like we may... might be... Oh, the whole point was there was the third one up here. That's actually really funny. Maybe that battle was completely optional if I didn't talk to... the third head there. What's this over there? Oh, is it the same type of door? And then what's this? Diamond, heart, and then spade. Is this the order that we need for... The, that puzzle from before? Interested in a Choco Diamond? All proceeds go to Rudin, or Rudin Relief Funds, I guess. It's only 40G. Sure, we'll buy. I, I think I have plenty of money at this point, and the, the cost of missing out on a potential interesting story event, or side event, or dialogue, or whatever, is higher than the, the cost of the actual money itself I'm spending. Thanks, I guess. The Choco Diamond was added to your items. Hathi offers a heart donut. Pro proceeds go to Hathi's health. It costs 40G. Well, we'll do it. Hearts donut was added to your items. And then lastly, what do we got over here? Greetings, gentle clowns. May we interest you in a Lanzo cookie? All proceeds go to kicking your butt. <laughs> it's a mere 40G. Sure, sounds good to me. Thanks. The Lancer cookie was added to your items. For getting cheated by us, now we may fund our illicit plans. It's funny. Huh? What are you doing over there? Alright, so how should we split this jelly donut? I'll take the blood, and you take the skin. If I may ask, how does a donut fit into your plan? All real plans allocate for delicious treats. Sounds like you need to go to plan school, Dr. Toothpaste. <laughs> oh yes, earn a second doctorate, smart genius. Am I being made fun of? <laughs> oh man, that, that, that's too funny. Man, the characters in this game are excellent. In the heart of the woods, a bake sale stands quietly. The power of reoccurring bake sales shines within you. The power of reoccurring bake sales. Man, too funny. Alright, well, what we're going to do is continue either to the upper left or back through this door or to the right in the next episode. I'm really not sure which way I want to go, but again, as I've said in the last episode, as I said the episode before that, I'm really enjoying my time with this game. The battle system, the characters, the music, the dialogue, the humor, everything in between has been a blast so far, and I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. But until the next episode... This has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.